Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider-Man. I'm back with a uh, third video for today. Uh, first one was on the uh, Rich Man Shave Group. Did a live video where I cut my hair, trimmed the sides, uh, put my hair up in a mohawk for y'all to see. Um, second video was my shave of the day. Uh, used uh, Mystic Water Egyptian Dragon uh, for our April ABC uh, shave. So that was my fourth day for D Dragon. Um, and, uh, got in a box today, uh, from the Shaven Cadre, from Chad, and, uh, had a request, uh, I guess people were expecting me to do an unboxing video when I posted that I received it. Uh, ran off and did something else and haven't opened it yet, so, here we go. Um, if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this video. Um, we'll just leave it at that, and, uh, I'll go ahead and open it and show what I got. Um... Do a little sniff and tell on some of the things, and uh, we'll see. So if you don't know, this is the second uh, anniversary of the Shaven Cadre. Uh, this was the package put together to help support the Cadre. Uh, there was two different levels. Um, I got the bigger level, and uh, so I've got everything that was offered for the... Uh, anniversary. Looking forward to all this stuff. There's tons of stuff in here. So we got a pretty cool shave and cadre sticker. I don't know what I'm going to put that on, but this thing is awesome. I'd like to get a few more of these actually. So we've got some CBL soap. Uh, this is the uh, tonsorial steel gray fougere. I like that. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, smelling through the paper too. Um, it's kind of a, it's not a green, it's not a bright fougere. It's a little bit more dark. And I guess it, it might be just the, the name Steel Gray. But I'm kind of noticing that uh, like whetstone kind of smell which a lot of people have been talking about recently in uh, various other soaps that have the whetstone kind of scent to them. Um, but this smells really good. Uh, another CBL tonsorial, Green Valley Lynx. So, Green Valley Lynx, I wonder, to me, that sounds like the um, name of a golf course. And uh, I'm wondering if, uh, I know I was talking to Chris and trying to get him to recreate um, a uh, fairway from St. Charles Shave. And uh, it doesn't smell like that, but it, he did send me a couple of samples and some stuff he was working on that was uh, sort of like that. And this maybe smells a little bit similar. So I don't know if this uh, if this was his uh, his take on that or not. Um, have to have him weigh in on that. All right, so we got uh, Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations Barber Shop. Uh, now, again, I just brought this in on a cold uh, half hour or so ago. Uh, so this stuff is still kind of chilly, um, so I know some of the scents uh, aren't going to come off as I describe them the way that they might tomorrow after they've warmed up. Some of the notes are going to um, evolve differently as they warm up. Um, you're not going to see some of the stuff. It's going to be hidden because it's cold whatnot. You get what I'm saying. Um, barbershop. So... I've smelled something just like this before. It's a different barber shop for sure. It's very different from the um, barber shop that I smelled from uh, Mystic Water. I just used that two days ago. It's very different from the barber shop from uh, Jeeves Soaps. I know I've smelled a barbershop just like this before, though, and I can't place it. So I'm curious 
when everybody else gets their barbershop, what they think it smells like, if there's another one that smells very similar to this. But it smells pretty good. Um, let's see, okay, we got a uh, shaving cadre button. So, you know, if you got your little punk jacket, uh, you can go ahead and put some, uh, some more buttons on there. Okay, we got Sterling's Hipster. No idea what this is supposed to smell like. I know they posted the notes, or Chad talked about the notes earlier. I don't remember though. It's light. It's not what I thought of when I think hipster, um, which I'm glad because um, just off of the name alone, definitely wouldn't uh, venture to pick that up. It's very, it's it's light, it's bright, maybe somewhat citrusy, but there's a lot more going on in this. And again, it's cold, so I know it's going to change a little bit. So I'm not going to go too much into the scent on that one. Um, this is a splash or balm or something. So this is Lisa's uh, Post Shave Elixir. Very, very much looking forward to trying this. I've been wanting to try her elixir for a very long time uh, and just never got around to getting any uh, in the barbershop scent, so it matches the soap. And we've got uh, the Hipster Splash from Sterling. Matching the soap there. And we got the Shaving Cadre Keychain Bottle Opener. Uh, very important these days because uh, with everything going on from the quarantine and the uh, do not leave your house orders that lots of uh, counties, cities, and states are putting out there, um, I, I think a lot of us are drinking a little bit more than we used to. So uh, this is definitely going to come in handy. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever seen one of these. I've kept one of these. I don't have my keychain right here. I've kept one of these on my keychain for Ever. I've had it on my keychain ever since college, uh, but it's plastic. Um, so if you don't know about this design, um, obviously this is your bottle opener. Um, put it on the side like a normal bottle opener. But this little thing right here, uh, I don't know if most people know what that is for. That's actually for opening cans. Um, so if you got your can of pop or soda or whatever, um, you're going to put that underneath and that's going to help you um, pull up the pop top on a can uh, you know if if it hurts your fingers or if you're using your thumbnails fingernails and you don't want to do that anymore you can use that for opening cans so that that's what that's for this is probably one of the items that people are most um, excited for and looking forward to seeing and it is the shaving cadre brush so i know a lot of people commented that it was kind of like my hair um it does have a blue knot which i don't know if it's really coming in too well on the uh camera here um but uh pretty cool handle um I kind of wish it was uh, more finished on the side. It's it's like a matte finish instead of being glossy. And it probably wouldn't have stuck out to me too much except for the bottom is like super polished and glossy, but everything else isn't. So after seeing this, I kind of wish it looked like that the whole way, um, but is what it is. And it's still a pretty cool brush. Uh, good to have a brush with the shaving cadre on it. It'll be good for shave of the day pictures. Um, help get the uh, the word out a little bit more and uh, get people noticing the cadre a bit more. And, oh yeah, I forgot about this. So, got a coffee mug with the Shave and Cadre logo on the side of it. That's pretty cool. I forgot that this was coming in this. Um, it looks big. It doesn't say how many ounces on the side of it. 
care instructions. Um, but that looks like it's gonna hold a ton of coffee. And it's a, uh, looks like it's double walled, insulated, so it'll help keep your stuff a little bit warmer longer. So that's pretty cool there. And then we got the uh, dot kit, which looks to be nice and roomy. I've got a couple of dot kits. Um, this one's really nice. Um, it's got some leather or maybe faux leather trim, I don't know. Um, but the sides of it are really uh, durable canvas, really thick at least. Um, it's got uh, some nice uh, other type of fabric inside, uh, which feels good. It's got a little uh, zippered pocket here in the side. So if you've got smaller items, you can throw them in there so they don't get lost in the bottom. And then there's another pouch on this side, a zippered pouch, which again, you can separate out some other stuff in that one. This one's pretty big. The one inside is pretty small. Um, you know, if you wanna put like Q-tips or cotton balls or something in there, that would probably be a good spot for it. It's kinda of deep, but it's just not very wide. But no, this is, uh, it's got a nice handle. Pretty nice top kit. So that's it. That is everything that is coming. Um, so if I know there was like five of them shipped out at the same time, so hopefully everybody gets theirs today. Um, or I know some people probably maybe Monday will get theirs. Um, and then the rest of them going out in batches. So everybody should be getting there soon. Uh, I know Chad's working as hard as he can on it. Um, in between meetings, working from home, family and whatnot, he's got a lot going on. So I know he's working to get everybody their stuff as quick as possible. Um, if you're out there watching uh, and you aren't a member of The Shaving Cadre, come on, join us, uh, www.theshavingcadre.com. There are still some kits available. I think there's two different kits, and I think the first one is completely sold out. I think uh, the second one is a smaller one, and there is some still available if you're interested in getting some of the swag, but not all of it. So I'm Spider, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.